I am super festive, in case you did not know that about me. Doing some stocking decoration, celebrating the holidays. We're just days away from Thanksgiving, my favorite holiday, as I've said many times. And I'm excited to end this week out with you talking about some very controversial topics today. First and foremost, somebody who may not be known yet or that much in the English-speaking world. I'm talking about Maluma. He is a Colombian singer. And I posted this video on my socials that exploded because in this video, Maluma kissed his aunt on the lips in what many people interpreted a sexual way. And after he kissed her on the lips, he looked at the camera and winked. What? Why? And it's not an aunt by blood, an aunt by marriage, but the aunt has children with his blood uncle. How crossing the line, some would say? I was going to say gross. I mean, it's not gross. It's just inappropriate and escandaloso rude, inconsiderate to other family members, and they've done worse. After I saw that video, I did some research, and I saw this one photo of the aunt grabbing Maluma's junk. ¿Qué carajo? I joked, is that a Colombian thing? No, it's a thing for the carados. Now we know where he got the inspiration for Feliz de los Cuatro. That's all I'm saying. From Maluma to some shadiness between Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber's uh, replace the replacement that she went back. <laughs> Brain fart. <laughs> From Maluma. <laughs> From Maluma to Selena Gomez throwing some shade at the weekend, her ex boyfriend. Selena first dumped the weekend for Justin Bieber. Mistake, some would say. <laughs> now, uh, Selena has no intention of being friends with the weekend. In fact, Selena even unfollowed him on Instagram just recently, and the weekend responded by unfollowing her too. Oh, wait, I should put this on my forehead. Yes. Hold on. How do I take this off? Come on, sticker. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Yes. Yes. So, I think that's a little shady. If you dump somebody, let them unfollow you. Or let them block you. <laughs> Don't unfollow that person if you dumped them. That's all I'm saying. In other news that's making a lot of headlines, Jennifer Hudson has announced that she is separating from her partner of 10 years. She's been in a relationship with David Otunga, who is a WWE personality. They have a son together and things have turned nasty. The police have gotten involved. Lawyers are calling the other side liars. It is um, quite the reality TV show in J. Hud's life. So complicating things is the fact that there's a child involved. Their son is less than 10 years old. I just want to put this other one on now. I need a cup of coffee. I should not have done my broadcast today without coffee. Damn it. But you know, I'm real like that. <laughs> Sometimes you're a little low energy. <laughs> Oh, come on. There we go. 
my video of um, my response reaction video for the new Demi Lovato song is doing well. If you guys haven't seen that, the Demi and, and Luis Fonsi, check it out. Ooh, there's red too. I'm like Rudolph. Okay. Yay! Now let's get back to it. All right. So, J. Hud asked her now ex to leave the family home and he refused. The reason he gave is that he's the primary caregiver of their son. Jay Hud is very busy traveling the world, filming The Voice UK, filming The Voice here in Los Angeles, even though the family is based out of Chicago. And Jay Hud just had it up to here that he would not leave after asking him to leave. So she got a protective order of custody against him. The police came, kicked him out of the family house. And Jay Hud also alleges that he was physically abusive towards her. He is countering through his lawyer that Jennifer Hudson is making up that allegation as a ploy to get more custody with their son because he is the primary caregiver, the dad. The dad also is alleging that Jennifer Hudson had an affair with musician let me make sure I get this accurately. Mally Ma, was it Mally Mel? Um, who is the affair with? Yeah, Mally, no, Mally, not Mally Mel. With Mally Music, a music producer. Oh, It's all just unfortunate. And you know what? Like, I'm just gonna side with Jennifer Hudson here. She's providing for her family, first and foremost, and she's already been through so much. Her mother and her sister were killed by the sister's boyfriend or husband. Jennifer Hudson gets a free pass at life. She can do whatever she wants. I'm always gonna side with her. <sighs> It's sad though that it had to end this way. Also sad that Jeffrey Tam Tambor may end his run on Transparent in the way that it seems like it's going to go out. He being fired is the very latest that I am hearing. Not confirmed yet though, but this after two people have come forward and accused Jeffrey Tambor of sexual misconduct. One being his former assistant, the other being a co-star on Transparent, Tracy Lissette. Jeffrey Tambor has denied these allegations. He has said that he oftentimes is very difficult to work with and doesn't express himself well, but the thought of somebody thinking that he is um, a sexual harasser makes him ill. Well, not only are those two women making those allegations against him, but there was a third woman, another actress on the show, who allegedly overheard some of the statements that Jeffrey Tambor made towards Trace Lisette. <sighs> All the awful men in Hollywood. I'm just thankful that Tom Hanks is still a nice guy, <laughs> right? Ah, there we go. Hey! <laughs> All right, from that awfulness, let's move on to even more awfulness, but not so serious. I mentioned how Gigi Hadid and several of the models were denied visas and could not make it to the Victoria's Secret fashion show. Well, guess what? It's official now and Katy Perry as well has been denied a visa and will not be performing at the Victoria's Secret fashion show. This because she has in the past expressed sentiments supporting Taiwan, which China does not approve of or recognize. Wah, wah. 
In other news that is pleasant to end things with, congratulations to Serena Williams. Yay, Serena said I do in a very star-studded wedding in New Orleans, attended by everybody from Kim Kardashian to Beyonce and more, Ciara, Kelly Rowland, and Colton Haynes and others. My favorite part of the Serena Williams wedding is that it was Disney themed. She had a Beauty and the Beast themed wedding. How rad is that? I love me some Disney. I love me some other fellow Disney lovers. I love you, especially for watching this whole way. Um, even when I'm not at 100, I'd say I'm at 80 today. This broadcast was an 80. I can do better. I should have had a coffee. I'm so tired. But it's Friday! And that sign says Perez. How cool is that? I have my own glow in the dark sign. You are cool as well. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. You know the rest. Leave me a comment. Share this video. And if you're not following me yet, then follow me. Mwah!